by painting spontaneously, you cannot hide anything from yourself. And I think it was very frightening what started to come out. It's as surprising to me as it is maybe to a, a viewer. It's not gratuitous. I don't, I don't feel that any of my work is gratuitously to upset. It's like a fur ball that's got to come up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's got to come up and it's got to be made into some kind of form. And, and sometimes it is stuff like that. It's very life affirming, even though, you know, a lot of my art, I think people go, oh, it's very painful. I feel that I take the pain and I work with it. You almost have to look out the corner of your eye at things. You have to look at things askance rather than look at them full on and try and control everything. Because you can't, you can't control it. I used to use um, you know, animal fur, bones, blood, teeth, stuff like that. The presence of blood is a combination really of violence and passion, but also profound connectedness, like human connectedness. I was dealing with depression. I realized, you know, obviously in depression, there is a lot of, often a, ver a lot of anger. And I think I located or I unearthed a lot of rage, um, which felt uncontrollable. And I continued to paint and draw and make artwork. And it was a good corollary to therapy in as much as I was able to make form out of what appeared to be sort of numinous feelings, but also things I just that couldn't be said. There were no words for it. I picked up information, sort of unconsciously. A bit like, you know, the idea that an artist is a magpie. It's not to everybody's taste, but the work that comes out subsequently is a way to start healing. <laughs>